Okay, so Mr. Matt, I want to start uh, the interview with the introduction, please. Sure, so my name is uh, Matt Swish and I'm the founder of Comet Technologies and uh, Opcode Cybersecurity yeah. Conference. Yeah. So, uh, you've given an interview, uh, you've given a lecture on, about uh, cybersecurity, you have on TreadCon in Nepal. So, how was your experience? Uh, so far, the experience uh, in Nepal and with ThreadCon has been really good. Uh, like, uh, the, the people are like really interested by cybersecurity. Like, there's also like the capture of the flag challenge running in parallel. So, people are like really motivated, and uh, it has been very interesting so far. Uh, as people here have been uh, like motivated and they've been excited about uh, cyber securities, what are the main threats about cyber securities that are easily reaching to the people's like to like organizations? There have been lots like lately like arms and Intel have been uh, hardware wise, firmware wise, they are malware and Spectre something else. Uh, so how can this be defended? Uh, did you say like the main trends or the main uh, threats? Threats, trends, everything. So I mean like everything is uh, potentially like an attack vector, right? You have like Internet of Things, if you have a PC, you have like in-memory uh, in like based attacks. Uh, then you have like hardware, I mean like uh, there's so many like layers to the stack of technology now that everything is a potential like trend or threat. And this one question I want to ask you, it's about like enterprises level, they have levels of securities, like from routers to physical firewalls to servers, and there are many other programs like Honeypot that can just send an intruder to an infinite loop. But even though with such level of encryptions and such level of securities, enterprises are getting hacked. Uh, can I explain why? Uh, well, because enterprises don't do enough for security in a lot of cases. Like, uh, if you would look, like very few companies have a chief information security officer. And if you would look at how big their team is, usually they are understaffed. Like, they need more like uh, manpower to be able to like cover the whole scope of the enterprise, especially when you're talking about organization with thousands of users. And what do you think about centralized database for authentication? Are there like reasons behind those uh, cyber security issues? Uh, I mean, like centralized database is usually is usually what's used for like authentication. You're right. One spot with like all your credentials. Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. I mean, if authentication are done by central centralized database, then uh, one server is enough to get all the authentication data of all people. Like, uh, if Facebook has an authentication device on a single server, one server, the, uh, if one server is hacked, there are millions of data over there, and every data can give, uh, get leaked. How about if those authentication data were decentralized, like in a blockchain, or use something, uh, some yeah, I mean, like the problem would be the same, you know, especially like if you're talking about a public blockchain, everyone would have access to it, so it would be even worse. Uh, like the main point with like, you know, like uh, credential database uh, being breached is like uh, many like password reuse. People keep reusing the same password for like 10 different websites. So your Facebook password is the same one as like your banking website. Uh, but blockchain itself is not the solution to any of those problems. So another question is like, uh, when using the passwords, like MD5 hash is the most popularly used, and they have directories like for decoding those dash or matching those. Uh, would it be useful that if every users in the world would use unique password each time they reset the password or change the password? Uh, I mean, like, the fa like uh, MD5 has been deprecated now. Yeah. So like people are moving away from it. So it's like, uh, yeah, so it's one, well. shall two, be crypt, all those things. Yes, uh, what, what counter measuring uh, counter measure did you say? Would be, uh, Using different password than those they are being identified in the directory. Oh, well, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, obviously, like, if you don't, you, if you don't have like password you use, if you have like one password per services, yeah. That's like uh, the, the main like mitigation against like password reuse. Thank you, sir. No problem. I'm creative. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have photo?